Welcome back, everybody, to Tomb Raider. Where we last left off, we were told to check out the Atlas statue. Which, I'm assuming... Is this thing over here? And my music and sounds were, like, way down. And still might kind of be, but whatever. So I think there's... So if you'll notice, there is, like, something in the... There's a dropper in the ceiling there. I'm assuming... I'm assuming I'm an idiot, and maybe that's not what I actually need. Interesting. Good to be wrong, I guess. I want me to go to the Atlas statue. It's the only thing that I could consider being an Atlas statue. Wonderfully strange. Is that a dropper up there or a butt? Maybe there is a button around here. Oh. And my kneecaps are gone. That oh, looks like a dropper. What happens if I do fire an arrow up there? Unless I need to put the sacrificial idol. Is that it? Am I done? Oh! I'm assuming I need to go up the water block? Oh, 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 ah! could just swim any slower. There we go. Oh my. That music, though. I was literally a minute 30 away from beating this map. I wonder if I can go up the, the water source block here. Is there like DLC up here? Oh, and and there went the trident. Oops. And I activate the water again. I can! Let's get up there. Let's see what's up there. Oh, and I'm now... There's my trident that I have so carelessly thrown. Oh, a thanks for playing sign. I knew there must be more. Where does this stick me? loops me back into the very beginning. Oh my gosh, that's so cool! Let's... Oh, that's the... That's just the story again. Okay, very good. Very good. That's cute. I like that. Alright. So, because I need to still milk, milk uh, a few more minutes out of out of this map here, let's, let's talk about, you know, what I... You know, this was just a lovely, a lovely, lovely uh, uh, first go at a at a Minecraft map. Like genuinely, this was. There is a little bit of of that uh, jank that comes with this being a beginner map, uh, of course. Like being someone's very first map, I don't expect them to have a full grasp of command blocks. But you know, there was a little jank here and there. But I'm willing to forgive that because this was genuinely like a good time. 
and like, yeah, this was this was good. I was the uh, the beginning part. It was a little dodgy, admittedly, at first, but I really think that this map uh, finished finished pretty strong. And I think, uh, you know, I think that this map creator did a, a pretty good job for a first map. So an internal debate that I've been having while playing this map for the last couple episodes was how do you how do you rank a new person's uh, first time map in with everybody else's map with uh, all the maps that you've already played because you know the, I do a scale of one to ten five being the minimum that most maps usually achieve because for me if the map works. I have to do minimum interventions to get it to work. Five out of ten, no problem. Love it to death. But what about a? But uh, obviously, this map doesn't use advanced command blocks. So, in what aspects does this map make up for that lack of? You know, like this is definitely a kind of like an old school jank map. How does this map make up for it? And I think that this map does a wonderful job at making up for it in the fact that. You know, the puzzles were genuinely pretty decent puzzles. And the builds in here were, were, you know, pretty good builds. So, you know, I would put this map at a solid, like a solid seven, seven and a half. Like this was a good map. Now, things I would like to see uh, improved in, in the future. And again, this isn't meant to be mean. This is just meant to be, uh, you know, a constructive criticism. Uh, the story of, you know, like, let's say this is a, this is a, supposed to be a Tomb Raider map. Outside of it being called Tomb Raider, I really didn't get any sense that this was a Tomb Raider map. This could have just been any generic, uh, adventure, adventure map. And I know that sounds harsh, but that's genuinely what I think. And so, you know, I would I would like to see this. Uh, I would like to see, you know, maybe a little bit better branding of the map in the future. Maybe tying in a little bit more of that Tomb Raider feel. I know that's kind of hard to do, but if you're going to call a map Tomb Raider, you know, it should have a Tomb Raider look and... F or it should have a Tomb Raider feel to it. I think it nailed the Tomb Raider look, but again, if... Since this was just... Since this was called Tomb Raider, there was really... No other thing that, for me, that tied it into being a Tomb Raider map. It just kind of strikes me as just another adventure map. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, other things I'd like to see is a little bit more use of that command of command blocks. Again, first map, not going to fault you. You did good. This was a very good map for being a first try. But a little bit more use of command blocks or to help, to help, um, you know, to just help add that little extra pizzazz to the map. And uh, maybe a little bit more story, like the the Tomb Raider franchise. I feel like is in, is uh, is quite enriched with with lore. So maybe uh, a little bit more a little bit more lore to the story to this map would have been would have served it very very well, especially being an adventure map. With that though, again, seven out of ten. This is was a very this was a good map, but it just needs those extra little things. Maybe uh, you know. A little bit more story, maybe a little bit more focus on Tomb Raider, getting a Tomb Raider feel. But again, good map. Very good, for, uh, very, very good considering it's a first map. Uh, with that, uh, thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. <laughs>